when I watched the first two seasons of The Mandalorian, I thought it was very refreshing. And for the most part, I still do. It's very refreshing to not have to deal with Jedi versus Sith and the Skywalker saga and the Force, which is still present through uh, Grogu and you know, Jedi that just appear. Luke Skywalker, Ahsoka. But other than that, it focuses primarily on Din Djarin, Mandalorians, bounty hunters, etc., etc. Basically gives us a different perspective. You get to see something else within the Star Wars universe that has nothing to do with any of that stuff. So I like it, but I think I've stated this before that, I mean, at least in the first two seasons, that what I, even though I enjoyed the show, it was still like, I still felt biased towards it because I love the Star Wars universe. It's very unique, but the show was not perfect. Like it was very redundant throughout the first two seasons. And this one, not as much. This one had a completely different issue, but I do feel a bias towards the series in general because there is a lot of flaws within it, but I still love watching it because I just love Star Wars. So if it has Star Wars in the name, I'll give it a try. I mean, I'm planning on watching Star Wars Rebels, which I haven't gotten to yet. Hopefully I catch up to it before I watch the Ahsoka series. But for the most part, I enjoyed season three. There were times where I thought it was very dull and times where I thought it was very entertaining. So it had its moments. It was entirely bad. And yeah, for the most part, I still enjoyed it. However, the issues I have with this season begin in the book of Boba Fett. Now, funny enough, the best episodes of the book of Boba Fett were the ones that featured Din Djarin. But aside from the one where he aided Boba Fett in defending Mos Espa and fighting the Pike Gang and whatnot, other than that, like the two episodes prior to that were way too focused on Din Djarin and could have been left for the season three of The Mandalorian, where he has to deal with the ramifications of removing his helmet, and now he has to try to find a way to redeem himself. That in itself could have been the premise for this entire season, but instead, it felt like they were trying to do way too much and just kind of pack it into one season. Mind you, there are only eight episodes in a season, so there's only so much that they should put into one season, but they were trying to do too much. They picked up where they left off in the book of Boba Fett with Din Djarin trying to find a way to redeem himself, but then that gets done very quickly, and then the focus kind of shifts towards Bo-Katan, and then the Mandalorian Enclave, or whatever they call themselves, and them just training new Mandalorians and just showing us the way Mandalorians do stuff. And then it felt like it was about reclaiming Mandalore, and they go on a spree of just trying to find Mandalorians. And then it becomes, again, about Moff Gideon. It's just, there's too much going on. And they bring up stuff that feels like it's supposed to be important, but it's not like the droid thing with Din Djarin, how he needed a specific droid in order to explore Mandalore, but then they dismiss it and you don't see that droid again until the end of the season. And then how Bo-Katan saw a mythosaur, she didn't want to tell Din Djarin. She tells the armorer, the armorer dismisses it and then randomly brings it up at a time where it doesn't really feel like it should be relevant, but they do. So like, the, I don't know why they did it that way, but it was stupid. But yeah, like they try to focus on way too many things and sometimes they don't address points that need to be addressed and focusing on things that don't really need to be focused on. Another issue I had with the season was the whole thing with the Darksaber because the Darksaber at the end of season two belonged to Jin, Din Djarin and he wanted from Moff Gideon and he wanted to give it to Bo-Katan but she wouldn't accept it because the only way you can is if you defeat someone in combat. Like you have to challenge them and then take it from them. You can't just hand it to somebody. So that would create conflict between the two. And I was ready to see that. I was waiting for that moment where she would challenge him or somebody would challenge him for that dark saber. But instead, she wins it on a technicality. And it seems like it's supposed to be something really important. But then Moff Gideon just destroys it. So it, like, what was the point of focusing on that damn dark saber if it was just gonna be destroyed like that? It's dumb. Also, the decision to bring back Moff Gideon and make him the primary villain of the season, just as he was in the previous two seasons. Like, I want to see somebody fresh. Like, I don't, I don't want to see this fucking guy anymore. I want to see a new villain, whether it be a rogue Mandalorian, the New Republic. Uh, the pirates that they introduced, I, I thought that might have been the villains for the season, but no, it was Moff Gideon yet again, and 
I'm glad they're they're talking about uh, Thrawn. I don't know if he's gonna be the villain in the Ahsoka series or if he's gonna be the villain in the Mandalorian series. Like however they do it, I hope he takes over so we can see somebody new, somebody fresh. Because I do not want to see Moff Gideon again, but I believe we will because we did not see him dead. So I'm almost positive he's alive. And if they killed him off, they killed him off in a very stupid way. So either way, it was a stupid decision to even have him there. But despite my desire to have Moff Gideon gone already, the episodes where they went to reclaim Mandalore, the action sequences were very entertaining. They were done very well. And like the, um, there was like sequences where Din Djarin was asking R5, I think that's the droid's name, R5 was taking down like barrier shields. And then Din Djarin was just picking apart like all the guards that were there. Like the action sequences and those episodes were amazing and I loved them. And I did want them to get to the point where they reclaim Mandalore. But I thought that could have happened in the next season or the season after that. Like I don't know how many seasons they plan on doing. I haven't read anything about other seasons. So I don't know where they're going with that. But I felt like this season was at least two seasons crammed into one they were trying to do way too much and that just wasn't built up too properly in my personal opinion maybe other people thought it was perfect i thought it needed a little bit more uh more brewing like it needed to get to a boiling point where it just felt like a climax instead it just felt like it was rushed but at least the action is good and despite its flaws like i'm still gonna watch season four i love star wars so if it has star wars in the name i'll give it a shot and i still want to see where we're going from here i know we have the ahsoka show to look forward to and the trailer did look promising but i learned not to put too much stock into a trailer because often all the good parts will be in the trailer but then the show or the movie itself will be complete trash so i mean we'll see what happens i'm really excited to see like where they what they do with that and i think Thrawn might make an appearance on that because I know Ahsoka was looking for him and I believe Hayden Christensen will reprise his role as Anakin Skywalker so I'm very excited for that because I'm glad to see Hayden back like the way he was treated when he did like the prequel movies was ridiculous he was only doing what he was told to do the lines that he recited were lines that were written for him like that wasn't all him so I'm really happy to see him back and hopefully the Ahsoka show works out well but I want to see where they're going from here with the Mandalorian, like not just with Star Wars in general. So we'll see where it goes from here. And hopefully they keep Lizzo's ass off of Star Wars. I don't want to see her again. But let me know what you think about this season in the comment section. If you enjoyed it, if you didn't enjoy it, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will catch you in the next video. See you then. Bye bye.